Hey guys, welcome back. This is Dong of the Whisper New Reviews, and this is Dong and Malpa Trigger Happy Havoc. Last time we left off, I uh, had a very long episode that I cut into a couple different parts. Uh, but we completed our first class trial. Leon Kawata was found guilty of murdering uh, Sayaka, whatever the hell her last name was. Um, because uh, Sayaka was a bitch, and she tried to kill Leon and friend Makoto and do all these terrible things because she couldn't deal with the fact that, uh, Monokuma had basically said her pop group was dead, and she, like, lost her mind. <laughs> so, that's taken care of. So we're three down, I believe. Uh, Sayaka... No, that would make four. Sayaka, Leon, Junko, and, um... Wait. No, it's Sayaka, Junko, and Leon. I don't know why I thought there was a fourth or three. Just the three of them. I'm sorry. Uh, but, uh... We're gonna continue. That's right. And, uh. Everybody, get your glass. It's the start of a new night. Though, this will probably be the only episode I do tonight. <laughs> because, uh. I tend to over record these. So, uh. Three, two, one. Cheers. I'm not quite sure what I'm supposed to be doing in here. It'd be weird to sleep in here, huh? Oh shit. It's, yes, completely plain. She really is gone. It's almost like there was never anything there to begin with. Every last sign of Sayaka's existence has disappeared without a trace. It's just like we said. After the class trial, before we took the ele uh, elevator back up, Monokuma told us. Uh -huh. I almost forgot. Since the class trial is over, I'll go ahead and dispose of all the corpses. What are you gonna do? That's... Yeah, I mean, nobody wants that. That's, that's good, yeah. but, like, I don't understand the purpose. I didn't even have time to mourn Sayaka and Junko's death. I'm sure that's exactly why he did it. Oh, that makes sense. It's a bad joke, a sickening dream, but I have to accept the reality of it all. I headed back to the dining hall to meet up with the others. Sorry, I'm late. So, um... Are you okay, Makoto? Listen to me! <sighs> you sure took your sweet time. I was just about to go and drag you back here. S sorry. Hmm. So what hmm. happened? Was your room fixed up like you said? I imagine it would be pretty hard to sleep with a rotting corpse in your- Hey, God, come on. Right? Thank you, Mondo. My room was spotless. There wasn't anything left. Like, the whole thing never happened. I see. It must be tough staying there knowing what happened. Why don't you just stay in Sayaka's room? Well, still, percent. Hmm. Um... Getting depressed isn't gonna help anything, right? If we all work together, I'm sure we'll find a way out of here. You got it! Yep, okay, okay, that's... <laughs> Is that honestly supposed to make us feel better? <laughs> we were already working together, and yet someone was still murdered. Anyone could betray us at this point. Now that it happened once, it's a question of when, not if, the next one takes place. <laughs> yeah, because Sayaka made the first move. Well... Stop talking. Oh. Oh, 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 hold on, guys. Come on, there it is. Do not... My screen. Working together, fighting a con uh, common enemy? Like it, like it or not, it's not that simple. Uh, are you okay with this? The Mastermind seems to be much more powerful than we ever suspected. They took they took over Hope's Peak, which was supposed to be well defended, and modified it to fit the desire. They created Monokuma, which seems to be incredibly advanced, and they're providing for our every need. And the cherry on top is the execution we witnessed. Honestly. Everything has been planned down to the last excruciating detail. This is not the work of your everyday psychopath. Defying them may be too great a risk. So then. Then what are we supposed to do? <laughs> Anyone who truly does want to escape will just have to follow the <laughs> rules. In which case, the only option is to deceive those around you and win the game. N no. Oh, uh, poor Chihiro. What? She's like, uh, we're not playing I, that game. I can't take it. I don't want to live if it means killing somebody else to do it. I don't want to kill anyone else. Huh? It's because... Leon died because we all voted for him, right? It's no different from us killing him ourselves. But... I, Chihiro, I kind of have to disagree with you. That's an administration of justice, if you will. So, um... Exactly, we all would have died. 
That isn't what you wanted, is it? So it would seem. Shahira, listen. You're not to blame. Not you, not Leon, and not Sayaka. The mastermind is responsible for everything that happened. We had no choice but to vote. I can't even imagine what would have happened to us if we refused. And in the end, it was Monokuma who ultimately killed Leon. So don't waste your anger on yourself. Instead, direct it at the mastermind. Bang! Bang! Is it nighttime? Hmm. <clears throat> Let's yeah. act soon, the door. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was oh. totally obvious before that you were trying to make yourselves feel better and justify what you did. You wanna see you, piece of see shit. you, don't see you, see you. That's about how much I can see you, even when you try to hide. Now pay attention and remember this well. The burden of judging others is a heavy one to bear. So be well aware <laughs> of your actions. Uh, Order and stability rely on the sacrifice and responsibility of everyone. Okay then, sweet dream. I mean, what he said isn't wrong. <sighs> what, what was that just about now? Was he saying it's- no, that's pretty Don't fuck with that me. That piece of shit, who does he think he is? And so the day drew to a close, a tense, maddening day that saw the deaths of three classmates, Sayaka, oh my god, they all died in the same day? Holy fuck. Sayaka, Junko, and Leon. But this is just the beginning. Our despair has only just begun. Chapter 2, Boy's Life of Despair, Daily Life. So, okay. I think I figured out, like, at the end of daily life is when shit goes down. And that's the end of, like school life or nightmare or whatever the hell it was. I woke up the next day to Monokuma, but then he called us to the gym. What's he gonna do? Frozen with fear, blah blah blah. Let's move. Okay, lift your arms up and down. Why are we doing a fucking calisthenics? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Taka, you're a piece of shit. Now reach way up and bend way down. Tighten those muscles. Let's add a little strength, a little speed to those young bodies of yours. That's creepy. <sighs> uh, doesn't just or doesn't this feel just great being stuck inside like this? You gotta make sure to stay healthy. <laughs> right? <laughs> That's actually pretty true. <laughs> Don't sweat the small stuff. That's my motto. Yeah no. Did you fall in love with me? Am I just to die for? Am I just to die in writhing agony for? So? Yeah, right? Like, what's yeah. your fucking point? Hey! Thank you. The assassin's <laughs> just... <laughs> the fuck huh? is he talking about, right? Right? Like, can you just hey, get to the fucking um, point? Hmm. Okay, your announcement. Every time you overcome a class trial here, hope speak, a whole new world will open up to you. What the heck? Whole new world. You guys! It'd really suck if you had to live here forever with nothing new to stimulate you. Besides, I know how you kids get these days with your ADD and ADHD. Gotta keep you motivated. Very nice! Enjoy the brave new post-trial world till you explode. Oh, that's terrifying. He disappeared, super confused. A new world? Could it be? And down is the way to get upset. About that. Exactly, it seems incredibly Piece unlikely. Of shit. Hey. Okay. You so. hear me? Fine. Fuck it. Let's go. Hm. Got it. More like a stable food source. Uh. Wow. Okay. We out. Why not? I mean. What the heck? Bad. This is super bad. What the hell is he talking hmm. about? For serious. What? Any god can come. What the hell? Uh, what is... Let me out. I mean, what the fuck is he babbling on about? Oops. No. This. Okay. So what the fuck's over here then? It's freaking you out. So there's nothing over here, you piece of shit. Ooh. No. I I have those monokuma coins. What did you say to me? Got it! Makoto, look, the gate blocking the stairs. Oh shit! You that's hear me? Okay. That's Without actually a doubt. Yeah, you're super you fucking clever. I leave this okay, but we can we can go up there, but he does clearly want us to check out the rest of this. So we still can't go into the nurse's office. What's this? 
I want to actually do something else real quick. Wait, how do I do this? Wrong one. Um... Hotel. What the fuck is this? I I don't even know what this is. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, so that red door. That's the classroom. That's not what I'm looking for. That red door was. It took us to the trial. The Asian, oh, store. Perfect. Okay. I just missed it all over here. No. No. I wanted to be the fucking store. Okay, well, let's get the fuck out of here then. Do I even need to look around? Okay, yeah, well, he told us that. What's up there? Oh, God. This is the second floor of the school. Maybe there's some kind of clue here. Yeah, I'm sure of it. There's gotta be something here. Probably can't go in there as a boy. Check out the bathroom. Cleaning supplies, nothing there. Okay. Fuck out of here. Let's see what we got going on out of here. This is the classroom. I see. This must be what he meant by a whole new world. I should probably take a really close look around. I'm just gonna see if there's any. Any mono coins around? Haha! I have 75. That means I can probably get all sorts of cool shit. Did I miss anything? I think I did. What's over here? Oh. Okay, yeah, let's, let's get out of here. That's all that's down here. These deadbolt things everywhere. Library. A repository of knowledge. Oh shit, everybody's here. Okay, well, let's talk to you first, because I like you. Whew. It's remarkably dusty in here, and the lighting is less than ideal. For a library, it's not the kind of place I'd want to do much reading in. I don't really want to talk to you for me. Why are you shocked? Damnation! They have all the- oh my god. <sighs> well, yeah, why would they have any comics in the library? <laughs> Plus, most fanfic is porn drawn by a bunch of amateurs. <laughs> <laughs> I do do get it. And with a face like yours, anyone can tell nothing you do at- Oh! <laughs> Say whatever you want about me, but never judge a book by its author. Nothing. Wait, never judge a book by its author? What? Now hear this, appearances mean nothing at all. What you see before you is nothing more than the rhyme that contains the meaty pulp of my Here chair. we go! I'm, I'm done listening to you. Thank you, Toto. Yeah. No, we're... I don't... We'll talk to Toto. Oh, shit. Pack tight with books. Oops. You must be pretty happy to have all these books around, huh, Toto? <laughs> Not particularly. Nothing's really caught my attention so far. Mm -hmm. The plethora of books, it's true, but the content seems lacking. You know nothing. Oh my god, not again. <laughs> oh, she's... <What> the heck? <laughs> my stories are filled with true love and pure feelings. Don't compare them to that garbage of yours. Your writing doesn't even mean anything. It's just a bunch of jumbled up letters. Someone could just burn it all. <laughs> wow. Boy on boy. I don't care if it's an anime or comics or fanfic or whatever. It's all filled. Oh my god. <laughs> It makes me sick to my stomach. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> these, these two are fucking weird. Hmm. Yakia, help me. But still, this library is most interesting. Stop talking. I was just thinking out loud. Oh, well, you piece of shit. Oh my god, there's shit everywhere. Okay, what's this? It looks like a laptop. The laptop looks pretty old, and it's all covered in dust. So it's broken. I tried pressing the power button earlier, but nothing happened. Are you sure it's just not plugged in? This real quick. Care. That real quick. Something right here. What's this? It's a 
a letter. The shelf is covered in dust, but on the shelf is a letter. What's this? Hope's Peak Academy. Indeed. It was buried under me, or under a thick layer of dust. It must have been sitting there for quite a while. Well, shall we see what's inside? Oh, fuck that. Is that right? What we shouldn't do is leave this here without finding out what's inside. O okay. I broke the seal in the dusty envelope and pulled out the single sheet of paper I found inside. I unfolded the paper and read what was written there. In the Hope's Peak Academy Executive Office, throughout the years we've been committed to shaping the youth who will one day shape the world. We have a long, proud history as an institution of higher learning with full governmental support. Our graduates enter society ready to take on active leadership roles in every major job skill. However, Hope's Peak Academy must now lower the curtain on its glorious history for the time being. The decision was not an easy one to make, but serious issues beyond their control have made it necessary. But make no mistake, this is not the end for Hope's Peak Academy. We will intend to reopen our doors as soon as the issues forcing our closure have been resolved. That being said, this is the end for now, and I would like to personally and sincerely thank everyone for your help and support over the years. For now, we are, official, we are awaiting official governmental authorization to formally cease operations. <laughs> it means that, right? It, it means that it's seem... closed. So it could be at least a year old. So you're saying Hope's Peak closed down at least a year ago? <laughs> Most likely the mastermind took over the abandoned school in order to put on this little performance. See, that's the point. We just fucking got here. I don't understand. I mean, you're saying it could have happened over a year ago, right? Before I got here, I looked up stuff online about the school and never saw anything about so this. So in other words... That must have all been part of the Mastermind's plan. They lured us in here. Someone who created a place to judge and execute people could potentially be capable of anything. Hmm. Of course, that's all assuming that the letter is real. However... That's, if it is real, though, that does solve one mystery surrounding the school. The reason there are no other students here could be because the school had already closed down. Hmm. That would be a nice, simple solution, it's true. But then, what about this other part? Yeah, the serious issues. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is there any connection between that and what's happening to us no. now? If the two yeah. events are in fact connected, uncovering that connection would be a useful clue on top of figuring out the Mastermind's motive. Although I can't really say anymore until we find the details. Hm. So in other words, only the Mastermind knows the truth right now. Yeah, 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 we figure it. He wants to imprison us here, but we don't know why. Thick layer of dust. Okay. Oh, nice. The shelf, nothing looking at it, the whole thing is incredibly dusty, been neglected. Excellent. What those gifts for free time? Behind this door, some kind of archive. All I saw in there was stacks of old books and files. I can't imagine what business you would have in there. Uh, fuck you, dude. One last stack of books, it looks like. Yeah. Haha! Okay, let's get out of here. Next up. Ah! Running into things. There's something over here. 2B. Another classroom. There's nothing here. Oh shit, okay. All over there. And the monitor, and then we're out of here. Okay. I think that's everything up here. Right? So I was in the library, I couldn't. Oh, I think I did miss something. All the way out back behind us. I'm not sure what the hell that is. It was directly behind me though when I came up the stairs, I guess. The pool. Okay. I totally miss this. Uh, the fuck is that? Just a second. Makoto, guess what? Oh, just, oh that's right, she's the ultimate swimmer. Yeah, we okay. get it, we get it. Next to the equipment, Sakura, Sakura's gonna go nuts when she finds out. Uh, that's very true. Venus seems way more. Well, there's a fucking pool. Is this. Is this what we 
here. A bunch of different pool related items. Okay, let's see what the hell this is. I mean, it's a fucking Gatling gun, but it's a real gun. Another surveillance camera. Looks like there's multiple things back there. There are. Let me just. It's a card reader. Behind this door is the locker room. Yeah. And I guess you need your handbook to get in the locker rooms. Of course. Really, really. Ooh. Fuck off, Monokuma. Hmm. Do you want to unlock the locker room? You'll have to swipe your personal e handbook across the card reader next to the uh -huh. door to ensure maximum security within each locker room. Only a boy's handbook can open the door's locker room, and only the or the same goes for the girls. And that's the bottom line. But what if somebody opens the door and then someone else sneaks in? <laughs> Anybody who commits such indecency will be punished without mercy for the scandalous sexual depravity. I'm assuming that's what the Gatlin gun is for. <laughs> and I'll be like, just a second. You would fucking die, um, Tina. Thank you, Shira. Okay, hmm. a boy could borrow a girl's handbook, and that would get them into the girl's locker room, would it not? Ah. Oh, goddammit. Hmm? Okay, how's this sound? I got it! Fucking new rule. As of this moment, loaning your e-handbook to another suit is strictly prohibited. <laughs> okay. Okay. Goddammit. Honestly. I do not imagine anyone would have lent their handbook out in the first is place. That okay? After all, that or they would like to be held responsible for anything that might person would do with using the handbook. So, um Of course! Because all you teenagers are sex craze maniacs. You're all at that age, you tried humping a plastic bottle. So to keep anything unseemly for happening, I have to maintain a rigorous rush. <laughs> then in that case, I would ask that you keep the same close eye on the dorms. If some man and some woman decided to share a room, there would be nothing to stop them. <laughs> Oh. Disgusting. Oh, by force or by cunning, do whatever Just you want. Just the worst. Right, he's See kind of a piece of shit. Later. Oh my god. You're fucking uh, terrible. That stupid bear. You got it! Slash Chihiro, you wanna come with me? As for me. There's nothing <laughs> there's nothing I hate more than getting water on my face. Uh, Sorry, I'll so pass this time. Uh, okay, you like swimming. I get it, but the rest of us don't. No exit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No no no, I wanted to fuck me. I wanted to keep looking around there. But I guess I saw everything I needed to see, but... Listen to me! Taka, stop yelling. Uh, let's see. Yes, indeed. There's a library. Okay. And a pool. A freaking pool! Well... It was not, however, anything resembling an escape route. She, yeah, she's right. I see! Oh, hey, there's no reason to get all sulky. Wait till you hear about my amazing Quiet discovery. Quiet down and listen! The warehouse and bathhouse on the first floor. Oh, shit. You hear me? And the warehouse is chock full of food, clothes, whatever you want. There's so much, it's insane. <laughs> okay, that's... Are you okay with this? Keep in mind, of course, that going out at nighttime is still prohibited. Do please do not forget. Yo. What about a fucking way out of here? You find anything like that? <laughs> oh, well, um... Why? Yeah, of course. No. No, not at all. Uh, no hey, talking, come you fucking on. suck. What? Who gives a shit if we have a goddamn pool now, or a warehouse, or whatever the fuck? Stop fucking around! We're still around. trapped in this piece of shit school. We need to find a goddamn way out now. <laughs> Nana, there's no point in taking your anger out on us. Adaptation is the key, yes? For now, we must find a way to enjoy our current situation. You piece of... You fucking loon. <laughs> Let's just continue our investigation and let everyone know if you should discover something. So then... So, are we done for today? Yeah. Oh, poor Taka. There seems to suddenly grow heavy again. Is this the mastermind plan to give us hope just to turn around and betray that hope? The fuck was that? Oh, it's my time. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, fuck off. We all promise not to leave our rooms during nighttime. There's not much to do. I guess I'll just go to bed. Oh, Monokuma fucking theater. Mr. Monokuma, Mr. Monokuma, do you have a second? I don't really like myself. I don't have any kind of skill or hobby I can say I'm super good at. And my grades are totally average, too. My reflexes are okay. Not great. Not awful. I could get into a decent college where I'd make a few friends, maybe even find a normal girlfriend. Which is exactly why I don't look who I am. I understand that now. My life is just one giant copy paste. I don't have any imagination. I'm a perfectly average cardboard You see out. what I mean, right, Mr. Monokuma? This shit makes... What, what's the purpose of Monokuma Theater? 
Good morning, everyone. Get re oh, that's right. I wanted to let you know that your e-handbooks have been updated. New regulations have been added. How do I even check? Yeah, loaning your handbook, blah, blah, blah. I probably could have just teleported there. But I kind of forget where shit is. Um, I wonder if it's going to let me... Where the hell is this? Oh, it's not actually over here, is it? I'll, I'll go to the store during free time. Because I want to go there and buy shit and then go talk to Kodo. Morning. Yo, yo, yo. No, okay. Yaki and Taka. No. <laughs> Taka, I imagine he's trying to get the king of tardiness up in that mm. bed. Let's see. I don't mind waiting for them, but there is one problem, which is, well, what if they're <gasps> fucking dead? Oh, well, she could be thirsty, hey, too. Hey, come on. It's not a problem. Shut up, Slice. <laughs> Hafumi, would you make me some tea? Hmm? <laughs> Milk tea, if you please. Well... Let's see. Your roundish figure reminds me of the owner of the coffee shop I used to frequent. What the fuck kind of Celeste? God damn it. This is fine. I can feel my throat drying up. Quickly, please. Oh. So <laughs> this a few minutes later. <laughs> Thank you for waiting. The Fumi reappeared with tray in hand, the gentle aroma growing stronger as he broke. Mm-hmm. Finally. <laughs> you could have made some for the rest of us, you know. There's no way I to think about this in a common You're not sense my kind of way. Type of law. <laughs> the law of causality, basic instinct, act and react. <laughs> well then, if you don't mind, a small smile played across her lips as she held the teacup delicately in her hand. Oh. Wait. She cocked her head to the side and threw the cup as hard as she could at the wall. Jesus. What? Hey, what are you doing, my little white mm. rabbit? I hate this kind of tea. Mm. I don't understand. Yes, Imagine indeed. we are at a coffee shop, just any normal, everyday cafe. I sit down and I order some tea, and they ask me, would you like lemon or milk? I'll further imagine that I replied, oh yes, I would like milk tea, please. In this case, along with my tea, they may bring me a small container of milk, yes? <sighs> but this is not for me. I am among those who prefer the milk to be part of the process from the outset. The fragrance is just so overwhelmingly sweet that way. Adding milk or lemon right before you drink is like dousing your fries in ketchup. Mere condiments. Whenever looking for a cafe, I first review their menu to see if it offers the proper style of milk tea. And I cannot acknowledge any milk tea that does not add the milk during the brewing process. I don't understand what the fuck is going on. Yeah, no, she's fucking crazy. Um, right? <sighs> yes, I realize it can be a bit of a hassle. Even in cafes that offer proper milk tea, it is always more expensive than simple tea with milk. It takes more time to prepare, surely. <laughs> why even bother creating a menu if you're not going to offer the highest level of quality? Celeste, you know what? You're fucking crazy and you scare me. And I'm pretty sure you're going to end up murdering somebody because they didn't make you milk tea. But uh, I'm going to drink to you because your batshit craziness is kind of epic. So, uh, three, two, one. Cheers, guys. We don't actually have a menu. You little bitch! <laughs> Holy fuck! That does not matter. Hurry up and bring me what I asked for, swine. Say what? Yeah! <laughs> 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 hmm, I do so love coercion. Huh? Isn't she? Yeah. What the fuck? Um, wrong one. I can't get to the menu. Up oh, there it is. No, the ultimate gambler. Okay. Ugh, shit. Yeah, she went super psycho there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, let's not have her on her bad side. She's one scary chick. <laughs> Taka? Huh? What happened? <laughs> it would seem Yaka refuses to leave his room. It's just they're pressing his doorbell over and over, but he never showed himself. So maybe... Yeah, I agree. Maybe I he's think dead. maybe... That's also a possibility. Listen to me! What's your I'm trying problem? to one up everyone. Um. Well then. Okay. Uh, um. Off we go to find Yaka, who I don't much, uh, have much care for. Oh, what, are you, what are you doing over here? 
class, aren't you gonna help? Look, she hasn't had her tea yet. For me. <laughs> okay, is Hifumi back here? I want to yell at Hifumi to hurry up and make her fucking tea. Hmm. So we're gonna go look what? for him. Yeah, it's not good at all. This little piggy needs to. I have a holy edict to deliver a proper milk tea to my house. Oh god, I'm not. Yeah, no, fuck it. We're out. You do what you need to, dude. You know she's never gonna touch you, right? Like, like fucking ever. Um. The bath is open now. Uh, did I just learn I can fucking run? Did I forget that before? Probably. I don't think I've, I don't think I've been in here yet, right? Hello, Mondo? Yo. You find him? No. Hey, come on. Right? I figured maybe he was taking a bath or By something. You a morning bath kind of guy? Hell yeah. You're spending all night riding your hog when in your face is nothing more, or there's nothing better than a morning dip. That water loosens up, and the heat of your soul gets your hard body pumping. What? Uh oh. What? Fucking nerd. Hell yeah. Guys gotta expose themselves to each other, you know. Come with me next time, you'll see. <laughs> uh, let's just take a quick gander. Lockers. Uh, massage chairs, monocoin. I'm not super concerned about Yakya. Yeah, yeah, I don't give a shit about him. So let's go check out the steam room. The sauna. Okay. Let's go over here. Okay. So that is. Oops. We're out of here. Yeah. Not a big fan that everything loads up every time, but. I guess it's a, it's a small complaint. I doubt it's in here, but I mean, let's just be thorough about it. Yeah, we're out. Okay. We're, we're talking Toto. What's your problem? Uh, no. What the fuck? Calm down, Toto. That's actually very true. <laughs> the sports idiot is something that's happening. I'm sure she jumped. Oh my god. What the heck? He's dropping. <laughs> wow. The stray cat, what the fuck does that even mean? I'm not gonna check the rooms. I doubt he's in any of them. How the fuck do I get out of here? God oh, damn it. There it is. Um. So there's Denny Hall, there's these two, he's in the kitchen, you're in the warehouse. I missed the warehouse, okay. I want to do this, goddammit. You better let me in. Okay. All I wanted to fucking do. Yes. Yes. I know, I mean, Biakia could be dead, but no one cares. Ew, is that like a hairball? Super pissed about it. Only two percent, you know, it's one in fifty. I wouldn't even know to be honest if I got lucky. Oh. Nice. We'll do one more. At a zero percent. Okay. Uh that looks disgusting. We're out. Um, I want 
to check. Uh, I want to go upstairs. I get a feeling that the game's progression is going to make me go upstairs anyway, so I'm going to do so. I just can't imagine that he's still down on the first floor. Okay, okay. Hey. Yeah, see. So. Oh, the fucking library. Uh, okay. Okay, so, so I wasn't far off. He was, yeah, he was super, super, super into the library. When I open the door, oh, please. Ah, he's gonna be dead. He's gonna be dead. Biakia. No, oh, he's not dead. He's just hanging out. Of all the things I enacted, this most definitely wasn't hey, one of them. Uh, what are you doing? It looks like he's reading. I'm fishing. What does it look like I'm doing? I'm trying to read, so if you could be quiet. Oh, sorry. The oh, fuck you, dude. Wait, no! What are you doing here? Everyone's super worried. We've all been looking for you. Who asked you to do that? Because we're all supposed to meet up in the morning and eat together. We made a promise. A promise? <sighs> Can't I get a second's peace and quiet around here? Yeah, because snapped his book shut and slowly stood up, smoothing silent as a shadow. Dude, you're a piece of shit. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, so they're on their way here. Yo! Uh, hmm? Right? <laughs> uh, I've never read such a coarse novel before, but it just might prove useful at some point. Well... What was he reading? A mystery novel. Well... Hey, of course he is. <laughs> it's just something to keep in mind. Yeah, what? Naturally. If I, defy, if I decide to fight, of course I'll come up with something original. Otherwise, this game of ours will be totally boring, right? <laughs> wow. So if you're going to do it, you have to make sure it's entertaining. Oh, you sound like Monokuma, dude. He looked like he was actually enjoying it. Yeah, he's fucking crazy. Damn you! Everybody in this goddamn school is crazy. <laughs> It is a game. It's a game of life or death, which can only have one winner. That's all there is to it. <sighs> At least the last I understand. He is right. It's a zero-sum game. Are you okay with this? It's a part of game theory, a mathematical model. In game theory, what we are doing through now is called a zero-sum game. In this type of game, in order for one person to gain something, another must necessarily lose something. In other words, it's a situation in which participants must compete for position or resources. I see. It is an elimination match. Actually. Entrance exams, sports tournaments, job openings, both social interaction fall into this category. Everyone must scramble to obtain something which is limited for you to succeed, and someone else must fail. That also applies to the school life we've been subjected to here. In this case, is that okay? are limited resources that only one of us can successfully become the black end. So in other words... So this game was designed from the beginning to force one of us to try and defeat all the others. That's exactly what they had in mind. <laughs> That is why adaptation is so crucial. If those who want to escape were to disappear, there would be no reason to continue playing the game. What? But why would I want to stop playing? It's so much fun. You guys are fucking creepy. <sighs> it sounds as if you do not acknowledge even the possibility that you may lose, am I right? Naturally. Of course. <laughs> you do not speak like the others, exactly what I would expect from Tsugami heir apparent. <sighs> it's, it's actually beyond normal arrogance. Not possible. You son of a the bitch! You know, I just, I still just can't believe what? it. That an uneducated, brain dead, useless piece of garbage like you have survived this. Piece of only... shit! Well, don't go for it, dude. Don't make me repeat myself. You keep saying that, but. <sighs> do not bother arguing with him. For him, the concept of losing simply does not exist. He is the ultimate affluent product or progeny, after all. A boy raised to succeed from the day he was born. He considers victory his destiny, and has lived his life accordingly. Tests and challenges are merely ways for him to stand victorious, even if it is a life and death situation. <laughs> is that not so, Byakuya? <laughs> this one of you seems to understand. Isn't it, wonderful? it is because I am the same as you. Games are meant to be won. That's enough. Ooh, closed up, vulgar oh. mouth of yours. Well, well, I do apologize. <laughs> I am the ultimate gambler. You want to bet on a life? Bet on mine. <laughs> wow. Okay. N no. I have to. God, he's such what? a piece of shit. It's because. To kill your own friends is. That's is... horrific! Friends? Who decided huh? that? Yeah, no, he don't give a shit about us. We're in competition. We're enemies. But. What? Shihiro, darling, come on. Um. Come on. You have something to say, say it. Otherwise, keep your mouth closed. Uh, uh, no, Shihiro, you can. Yeah, you fucking need to say it. 
piece of shit! What? <laughs> it's unfortunate you would waste your breath on such empty gibberish. You son of a bitch! Just a second! Piece of shit! <laughs> Most calm. Uh. Hmm. To cooperate through an elimination game is, well, frankly, it's a waste of time, and I hate wasting my time. Not possible. Engaging in friendly group meals is out of the question. Someone could easily poison the food, and I'd rather not be kind of <laughs> be part of the Last Supper just yet. <sighs> shit. Goodbye. All I'm saying is, ultimately, you are all free to do whatever you want on your own. Goodbye. Without a second glance back, Byakia left. So was there anything we could do to keep him from going? His way of thinking was just beyond anything the rest of us could even comprehend. But... Was he serious about all that? <laughs> he was, without a doubt. Don't fuck with me! Well, fuck him then. Maybe. <laughs> kinda have to agree with Selga. Just because he's a piece of shit doesn't mean he's wrong. I mean, can you say for sure someone won't poison our food? Hmm. Anyway... Well, it's not like anyone would care even if I was gone, right? <laughs> Actually, I bet you all w want me gone. You all think I'm disgusting. None of us think that. You're weird, but I mean, whatever. Uh, I'm telling you! Wow, you just Ugh. think you don't think that. God damn, right? Mm. You think I don't know, but I do. You want me gone. And I'm sure the, the rest of you don't want the same thing, don't you? Oh, fuck off, Toko. <laughs> just let her go. When she gets going, you like, but there's nothing you can say to bring her back. That was weird. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we didn't have any questions, though. Ah, oh, it's free time. Okay, guys, I'm actually not even sure. I don't. <laughs> it's weird. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and call this episode quits. I think it's a good time to do it because I'm gonna go ahead and do free time. And then when I'm done with free time, I will start the next episode. So, again, guys, this is Dominic with Silver Screen Reviews. And thank you for watching this episode of uh, Thing and Rompa Trigger Happy Habit. If you guys enjoyed it, leave a like down below. Let us know you appreciate the content. You want more of it, all of the jazz. Any comments, criticism, suggestions, critiques, leave them in the comments section below. I love hearing from you guys. Otherwise, have a good night, and I will see you in the next part.